to talk about Massively Open Online Courses, or MOOCs, and peer review and whether or not peer review works as an effective method of improving course quality. Now in the past, when we look at Massively Open Online Courses, when it comes to assessment, they've traditionally done through examination only. And the problem with examination only is, is that it, it's very static. And the advantage of peer review is, is that it allows us to assign open-ended assignments. However, the challenge with it is, is that when you're talking about 10 or 20,000 students, how does an instructor or how do you develop a grading system for peer review? Now, looking at this concept of peer review, I think there are two big things we can look at. First of all, by establishing an appropriate set of rubrics with, grades with respect to grading, it can create stability in peer review and allow the student to grow. Stanford actually released a paper on peer assessment in MOOCs and indicated that with appropriate rubrics built in, the peer review process was quite effective not only in um, creating a stable grading system, but also in terms of improving um, understanding of expectations with respect to assignments. When these rubrics, when we publish them, tell a student exactly what is expected out of these open-ended peer-reviewed assignments. And so by publishing rubrics, we can actually improve expectations with respect to coursework. Now the second thing with respect to peer review, peer review grading is that the peer review grading process offers us also the opportunity to learn based upon other people's work. If we look at traditional examination methods in online courses, or if we look at traditional education, say at a university or a college, where we write a paper, we turn it into the instructor, and he grades it, all we learn from is, between, is based upon the interaction between ourselves and our instructor with respect to that paper. Now, when we talk about um, peer review, I write my paper and I turn it in. But in addition, I, after I've completed my paper, review other students' paper, and that becomes a learning process as well. And so this enhances the overall learning process in the MOOC. I learn not just from completing my own work, but also by reviewing other students' works, I have the opportunity to learn based upon what they've written as well. So as, as a quick restatement with respect to this question of peer review in MOOCs, and it is a very controversial topic, is first of all, by creating appropriate rubrics, we can improve expectations within courses. Many times as instructors, instructors don't publish these rubrics with respect to expectations. Under peer review, this is critical, and so we can improve expectations with respect to courses. In addition, the peer review process allows us to not only learn from our own work, but also learn from the works of others throughout the course. I hope you've enjoyed this talk, and have a good day.